Hey guys, the government's at it again. And this time they want to read your WhatsApp messages. Or ban WhatsApp. Do they? Really? With headlines like these, I don't blame you for asking that question. The truth is, yes they do. And, uh, well, a certain part of it does at least. It's complicated. Like your relationship. Hey, you got into that mess, not me. Don't look at me like that. Anyhow, this long hashtag, hashtag more than don't read my WhatsApp popped out of nowhere because of an Indian Express article. Wait a minute, hold on for a second. That's like five words. You virtuous, politically unmotivated people, could you get creative? Like, Modi bans WhatsApp was taken? How about BJP reads your messages? How about your government hates you? See what I did there? I replaced the government with a V and a T and you with a U. He, I'm awesome. Anyhow, Indian Express did a story on the draft national encryption policy which wants you to store all encryption communication for at least 90 days and make it available to security agencies if required in text form. Text form, yes. It also wants everyone to hand over their encryption keys to the government. If you got lost in the mumbo jumbo, here's what it means. The government insists that you keep all your messages that include chats like WhatsApp and iMessage, etc., emails like Google and Yahoo, and even video shit like Snapchat, which I never got into or saw the point of, for 90 days because they are all encrypted. What can I say? And it insists that WhatsApp, iMessage, Google provide them with their encryption keys. And before you flip out and go like, that's fucking insane, that's never gonna happen. Let me just say, they're not insane, they're just obsolete. See, this draft comes from an expert panel set up by deity under Section 84A of the Information Technology Act of 2000. These people still have sections and they flaunt that they're from 2000. That's when Backstreet Boys was relevant. Need I say more? Well, I don't really have to, because cyber law expert Pavan Duggal described the policy as draconian and misplaced, and basically said that we will all be violating it. Watch the whole video, I'll put it in the description. Logically, the chances of this happening are pretty dismal, but then dude, Modi's friends with Zuckerberg, man, and they really like, like each other, even on Facebook. <laughs> And WhatsApp is Facebook, dude. And what about Apple and Tim Cook, man? Aren't they meeting each other? We all screwed, dude. Hey, before we finish, YouTube recently put a cute little subscribe S down there. Just pointing it out. Not nagging or anything. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, it's all okay, man. Videos on the bottom. Just pointing it out again. You don't have to look at me like that. I'm Michelle Lillard. And now you're staring.